What's up guys, VR Gamer Dude here, and tonight we are going to be doing it RPG style. So tonight we're going to be taking a look at Vengeful Rights, and uh, we're going to be doing that in the Samsung Odyssey Plus. And I know you guys are like, man, starting to see that headset on your channel more and more often, and that's because, well, I'm starting to use it more and more often. I am loving the hell out of this thing now that I've got it modded with a top strap and a double pad and some velcro and and uh yeah so all right well let's get into the game here um you know I, this one's been on my radar for a while i jumped in to check it out i was blown away by the art style i immediately jumped out and said you know what i gotta record this so all right i think i've got everything set up let's go Okay. Master Arbidon is waiting outside for you to start today's training session. You'd better get out there. You can walk with the analog stick on your offhand controller. By default, movement is relative to the controller's orientation. This can be changed in the options menu. Head over to the door now. Okay, that's good to know. Um, okay, so, you know, uh, locomotion right off the bat, because that was the first thing I was going to say. I love the fact that they have given us smooth locomotion, and they have also given teleport if you want that. So, you know, bravo to the developers for given choices. Love it, love it, love it. So, all right, let's go ahead and walk over to the door here. Um, Hold on a minute. You forgot your sword. You can't get much sparring done without it. It should be upstairs on the sword rack. You'll want to go get it before heading out to train. Okay, well, I will do that. Okay, so the voice acting, a little cringy, but... Eh, you yeah. need to climb this ladder uh, to get I'll upstairs. deal with it. You can do so by reaching out to the rungs and grab it. Uh, where's my sword? That's weird. Normally the sword would be hanging right here. You must have grabbed it earlier and placed it in your backpack. To access your backpack, reach over your shoulder and grab it by... Oh, there's my sword. There's that sword. <laughs> to take an item from your backpack, nice. select it Feels with your good. finger and squeeze the trigger button. Take... Okay, so Important I'm not even going to wait for you, like buddy, because can... this is all kind of old hat. Let's see, yeah. Got anything in these chests? You can just blah 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 all your day. I'm just gonna continue to explore. Nope, <clears throat> nothing in there. So, yeah. sheath that bad boy. So, so far, following suit with most of what you'd expect from a VR RPG game. Um, everything seems to be working as it does in most of the other ones. Ooh, nice effect. Love that. Alright, very good here. What do we got here? The history of the Seraphim Brotherhood. Is that a potion? Can I drink you? Oh, I can. Oh, crap. I probably should have saved that because I did not need to use any mana. And, um, okay, so, yep, there's going to be some reading involved. Um, I'm not going to do that since we are doing a video. And I, I, I want to get a little bit more of the gameplay in here. Um, but, man, i got to tell you, I love the look of this game. The art style it is just so crisp and clean and bright. It, it's, it's amazing. It just looks amazing in the, in the screen of the Odyssey Plus, and that's that's the other reason I wanted to use the Odyssey Plus for this particular review, um, <clears throat> and the fact that you know back in mid February the developers of this game added full Windows Mixed Reality support to the game, so I'm definitely to going to be testing to that out here. To strike with long, fast swings. <laughs> Otherwise, you will <laughs> deal <laughs> damage. The longer the arc of the swing, the more damage you deal. Okay, so longer the arc of the swing, more damage you deal. You know, and I gotta say, the combat feels good. The scale of this guy is great. Alright, come on. Your will try to dodge your attacks whenever possible. A parry not only lets you avoid taking damage, it also has a chance to knock your enemy off balance. And leave them vulnerable to a counterattack. All right. It's time to practice. Attack Master Arbidon now to begin parrying his attacks. All right, Arbidon. I'm going to take your other eye here. Ready? 
Ha 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 So the, the, the attacking and, and parrying here feels really good in this game. As an apprentice of the Seraphine Brotherhood, you're capable of using Seraphine magic. You can squeeze oh, sweet. and hold the grip buttons to tap into your magical power. Nice. Select one of the disciplines of Seraphine magic to wield. Okay. Kind of feels a little mage's tail here. In that discipline until selecting a new Kinesis. Select the protection discipline. Protection. Alright. To cast a spell of your selected discipline, you'll need to focus your mana by squeezing the trigger button and then perform the correct gesture. The first spell you'll learn to cast Aha. is the Illusory Shield, a shield of magic that blocks nice. the Nice. Okay, so that's kind of like a twist there. I now you probably noticed the medallion on the back of your gloves. I did. The outer ring of the medallion shows your current health. Similarly, the inner gauge shows your current mana and which magical discipline you've selected with that hand. Attack Master Abaddon now to continue your training. Try to block his attacks with your illusory shield, and take note of how your mana decreases with each blocked attack. Yep, I see it. Oh, buddy! Oh no, you've taken damage. Not to worry, though. You can heal yourself back to full health with Restoration Magic. To cast Healing Orb, select Restoration as your chosen magical discipline. Then, summon the Healing Orb. There we go. Once held, bring the healing orb to your chest to eat. Got your health it. May be full now, but your mana is quite low. Unlike health, your mana regenerates slowly over time. One way to regenerate. Blue, uh, one way to project is to go to the big blue arrow. It's time to learn Sweet. how to cast destruction magic. The first spell you'll learn from the destruction discipline is fireball. Which can be done at no mana cost. With Kinesis selected, point your hand at an object to lock onto it. If the object can be controlled, it will glow blue. All then right, so let's learn about some Kinesis here. Control of it. Some objects are too heavy to be lifted off the ground, but most can be levitated with ease. Try taking control of this button. Aha! When controlling the force is strong with this one. You can bring it closer to your hand by moving your wand closer to your chest. Like check that out. That feels really good. By extending your hand further from your chest. Very, very freaking cool feeling. Your controls now. You'll notice that objects turn to face the direction in which they are moving. <laughs> very, very nice. Okay, so I gotta say, th this effect, it, 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 it feels convincing. I mean, it, it, I don't know. It, it feels like I am manipulating this with my freaking mind. And doing it poorly just as I would do in real life. Alright, you come here. Get in the cart. Get in the cart. There you go. Alright. Oh, looks like I got more wood to pick up here. Okay, so it seems like it's having a little trouble locking on. So, uh, but you know what? So far, if that's the only little annoyance that I've found, I'm not going to knock them for that. Yeah, there we go. I'm just having to find that sweet spot, which seems to be a little lower than I thought it would be. Come on now. There we go. Aha! Give me some mana. Oh, did that not make it in there? Whoa, what's going on?
Okay, I mean, I know something bad's probably just happened because of that explosion, but I'm not going to lie. I could literally, the, the music, the birds chirping, this, this, this cartoony, bright little river scene here. I could just chill here, man. Uh, th this looks awesome. All right, all right, enough of that. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, Don. It's awesome. It's VR. Oh, stealth. Enemies have a cute sight and hearing. When not in an enemy's line of sight, you can approach with stealth for a bonus to your damage. If you approach too quickly, however, they may hear you coming. Moving below half of your walking speed will produce footsteps quiet enough to stay undetected. If teleporting, your chosen destination will appear orange if moving slowly enough. Okay. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting orcs. Shh. Shh, sword. Alright, gonna sneak up behind him. Oh, he saw me. Got you. All right, so it looks like it's got the uh, Carnage Chronicles model here of making the uh, the loot float in midair, which I like. So you know, I gotta say that's satisfying. That the combat in here feels really good. It feels on par with other games like Carnage Chronicles or um, oh, I'm thinking of some of them, Mage's Tale. Um, we got some climbing stuff going on here, so, you know, bravo to the developers for incorporating a lot of different mechanics into the game to make it more believable. Loving it. Alright, whoa. Uh-oh. Danger. We got fire. Only you can prevent forest fires. I see you. I see you over there. I see you peeking. I'm gonna sneak past you. I got any healing stuff? Uh, I got no potion. Aha! Oh, please drop a potion. Serious need of some healing here. Take them. That's right. I've got a spell for that. Yeah. All right, pit it out. Okay, so, well, you know, I gotta say that was actually getting my adrenaline levels up. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how this one slipped past me. I am loving this game. Oh, dude, I need a bow. Uh, 
That's one thing the Samsung Odyssey Plus is not good for, is throwing things. Fool. Give me some arrows. Give me your bow, too. Do I have a bow? I do not have a bow. Okay. Oh, what do we got here? Nice. Congratulations. You've discovered a meteor shard. When used to sharpen your sword, a meteor shard will enchant your sword's blade with magical properties. To sharpen your sword, simply drag the meteor shard along your sword's blade from the base to its tip. <laughs> from the base to the tip, eh? Alright. Okay, wrong game. It likes it when I go from the base to the tip. Oh. Where'd you go? Nice. Game Striking saved. an enemy with an enchanted sword has a chance to activate the enchantment. Additionally, an enchanted sword can have its effect activated at will for a short duration with the trigger button. If manually oh, nice. I got a flaming sword. Will not automatically trigger on that looks that Nor fire effect looks really, really good. For two minutes. Oh, well, I wasted that, but that's all right. Okay, so return to my master. Um, no one is my master, sir. So, all right, so we will return to the master and we'll have a little talk about this. And then, you know, guys, I think we will cap it right here. I, I don't want to make this too long of a video. I did, I, you know, I, I do want to keep these reviews kind of short and I don't want to spoil too much gameplay. Um, you know, you get the gist. Cool, cartoony, RPG, VR. I mean, this thing scratches that itch nicely. So, uh, you know, yeah, I, I say let's let's go ahead and stop it here. But, you know, I will highly, highly recommend you guys check out Vengeful Rights if you haven't already. Oh, wow. Okay, well. Um, but for me, guys, that's going to do it because I think these guys are going to kill me. This is VR Gamer Dude, signing off, y'all. Peace.